my rundown is ready family hey everybody how y'all doing are you hey okay in your neck are when you we dry them up too cool now go too deep you know yeah yeah fair watch you know. our troops see that apple cider vinegar and our troops Up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how to prepare some red herring rundown. I have shared tin mackerel, I have shared salt. I'm not sure if I did share salt mackerel, I'm not sure. I've shared salt fish. But I've got a playlist of run down there. I know I've never prepared red herring. Here I've got my red herring. I've removed the heads. I got some with the heads. So if you can find those without the head, because normally we don't use the head part. It's really bitter. And not, we don't use it like we would use the head part of the salt mackerel. So the very first thing you have got to have some coconut milk. And I've got me here some coconut milk that I did prepare. And uh, I have showed you so many times how to prepare your coconut milk, so I, I actually did that off camera. So the very first thing I'm going to be doing now is get my flame up, because this takes a little process. You must have real, real rich coconut milk with that cream thing there. Look at the top of it. Look at it. You see that cream there? Yeah. So I've got me here my rich coconut milk. If you can't get natural coconut i think you could use i think the best thing the nearest thing would be the coconut cream in the can so we're gonna get our flame up that's basically how we start it this one will not be the authentic one this will be just one done in my kitchen the authentic one is done on the wood fire with that smoke flavor embedded in it there mm? now what i will be doing i did show you there's a video there and how to prepare your red herring too. So I did use the burn, I did burn it. But I noticed with these nowadays, you can use hot water. So what I'll be doing, I'll be just rinsing off these with some hot water. Basically that's what I'm doing, as opposed to the burn, this to get the skin off. Back in the days, that's how we would do it. But I think I've done that one about almost three years now. But I noticed that the texture of the red herring nowadays, they are so different. You can just use hot water. So I'll be doing that. I might show you a little part of the way. But the main, main thing here is to show you the process that all the coconut, um, the coconut juice recedes, how it breaks down, and how you had your stuff. So I'll catch you back in the next clip. Now, the heat is starting to take the pot. And let me tell you, when you have something like a Jesse, if you don't have a Jesse, anything that is a cast iron would be good too for those who can't get the Jesse. Something that is heavy. That's um, the um, ceramic. You don't do these dishes in those. You want a heavy, heavy pot, a heavy skillet. Maybe if it's stainless steel, the bottom has got to be real heavy. You know those heavy stainless steel skillet with the bottom part really thick? Yeah, you want to do a thick pot. Now look at this. This is coming to a boil around the edges, okay? So what is going to happen here? The cream at the, it is going to come to the top and the water that is in there is going to be receding some people they make the coconut milk and they don't make it as strong and they leave it for a couple hours and take off the cream and then they just just receive the cream so within a matter of five minutes they would have run down that's not how i was taught i'm not saying that's wrong but i'm showing you it's a process the run down it's a process it takes a cooking time so look at what is happening there now you see you have this look at this you see it's coming up so what you see that so what is going to happen you got is it starts boiling you got to turn your flame down because the power of the coconut milk will take it all the way up here and it comes right over on the stove and if you are making random and you should leave 
and go do something and when you come back you see that it's boiling and it comes over you can just turn off your, your, your stove and stop because you will not have run down again because this get in on this camera girl that is coming up here and will come right up if your heat is too high or if you are not monitoring it this is the goodness that you're gonna need to make the rundown that what is coming that cream on the top and if it come over you can't just stop you ain't gonna have rundown anymore because that will just come right over and it's finished you don't have you're not going to have any rundown so we are gonna watch it until it comes i have lowered my flame so when you see it starts boiling and gets so rigorous you have got to lower your flame and let it take its time so this is what is happening if you start the cooking around and it look like this you are on track so you notice it's receding so it's not coming back up again all the way so this is what is at the top hmm? you see that cream and then underneath it is like the oil and also some water okay so we are gonna leave it at that look at that you're gonna leave it at that pace and let it take its time and just you know recede recede right down so did I add don't cover it do not cover it it's that is at the pace that you want to cook it you don't want to cook it too rapid because the end product is gonna be oil and some custard that is what is mostly the rundown hmm? so you don't want to cook it too rapid and then it all dries out while it's cooking it's drying out you have got to cook it at a certain pace to make sure you have enough of that nice thing to soup up your red herring and to put in all your little condiments so as it gets further down we return so here is my red herring and i have my red herring right here i've rinsed it off with some cold water and i want to show you now we want to go on the inside as I told you, I'm not going to go in depth. And all these parts, we're going to be taking out. Okay? Look at it. You don't want these in there. So there are some fine, extra fine tall bones. Try to remove as much as you can. In fact, if you could open to the center. But we don't do that until we remove the skins. So go and look at my, my tutorial that I have showing you there. How to do your red herring. You remove the skin it has a thin piece of skin but in that video I did show you where I had used the the burned it so now I'm pulling it off because I rinse it so it seems to me now as soon as they it gets wet the skin can be removed they, the, the, the ones back then weren't like this so I'm gonna be doing this pulling it off and I'm gonna be using the hot water to you know wash it off for about two times to get rid of that excess salt okay I'll come back so as you can see family i am sitting and i'm using my bare hands yeah i wouldn't ever put on a gloves the gloves would be too slippery so this here is this part that we would call i don't know it has some little grainy grainy stuff in there and they call it the row i don't remember if my mother used to use it i am not sure but you can comment and tell me i don't use it because i don't like the graininess from it but i think some people use it as i say i don't remember if my mother would take the roll out okay okay so this is my clean i try to get most of the bones out so i'm gonna be covering it with a good amount of water and i'm gonna be doing it this i'm gonna be doing this two times i let it stay there for another probably 10 minutes i throw it off and i'm gonna put another set it it, it 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 moves all the scum and it also helps to take out most of the salt but you don't want to take up more side salt you know, okay you don't add salt to this rundown it is the pickle stuff that will add the salt to it. so look at this you see we are here and we are coming down look at what is happening you see that you're seeing more custard and oil look at this look at this you're seeing more custard and oil now so the most of the water has been evaporated so you want to be right now you want to pay this more attention more anything it is like the custard part and the oil that is left so it's going to continue and it's going to come right down when it's at that point i will come back when you see me next we are going to put red herring run down together this now you see that the, those little bubbles coming up it tells you that most of the water has been receding 
So I'm putting some, this is not pimento, and I thought we pimented it. That's all workless all spice. Our pimento seeds are smaller. You want to put that in there now. You want to put your fresh green thyme, not dry thyme at this point. With there, it's going to start flavoring it up as it comes down. This should be a ripe one, but I don't have a ripe one. And you're going to let it stay there and take the flavor. If you know a thing or two about rundown, you will see the oil and all of that. That is the sauce that is happening right there. So right now, you really cannot leave. Okay? You really can't leave. We're going to let it come down a little more. Okay, now we are coming down. Now is the time to put in lots and lots of tomato. And make sure when you put in those tomatoes that your heat is really high. The tomatoes is going to work around in there, give it some extra color and help it to, you know, have that nice juicy flavor. The tomatoes have stopped the process, but as for now, because they were a lot, mm -hmm, so... We're going to let the tomatoes stay in there. And you see it start turning color already. That red people start out. How did you get that, that rundown so red? This is how you do it. You put the tomatoes in at a certain interval. And let them continue cooking. They're going to produce a little more. Um, a little more moisture. A little more juice. But as it cooks it will recede. So we will continue. With this rundown step by step. Redering. Jamaican redering rundown so our tomatoes look at them they are so juicy so as it gets down to the end you you cook it on the medium okay and as it gets down to the wiring the last part of it you put the heat or the flame to the ice why you know one no additional um moisture like water being trapped in there because the tomatoes they carry a lot and they may I don't know, they might come like river now. So look at this. You see, the tomatoes are making it get that thickness, richness. Now it's time to put in some scallions right here and some garlic. Chop your garlic fine. Or if you want to grate it, you can do that. Our onions have to be in there for some extra, extra taste and flavor and all of that. Okay? Now... This is how clean you want your, your red herring to be and most of the bones coming out. Okay? You're going to right now start souping up all of this niceness and all of that. You're going to take your flame down right here a bit. Mm -hmm. Flame up. This, is, this dish is a whole heap of flame up, flame down. Not any and everybody can make this dish. The very last thing you want to do is top off this with some freshly, not freshly, refined black pepper. And you're going to fold it in. You're going to fold it in. And you're going to leave it right there on this heat. Do not cover. If you're covering it, you just cover after. You don't want it to start steaming. So this is what is going to happen. Look at this. You're going to let these, um, you, look, are you seeing that oil to the side. Come on, girl, you're picking up that? Okay, this is reddering rundown. Remember, take your flame down a bit now. Leave it for another seven to eight minutes and let all the juices and all that flavor from the coconut and everything just stay. Look at that. If you know anything about rundown, Debbie, you cook rundown, you know? Yeah, Debbie, you cook rundown, mama. I catch you in the next clip. My rundown is ready, family. My mouth is like, literally, it's literally. You see how all the seasonings are cooked down. They have mopped up all of that coconut goodness. Look at this. I have two dumplings here. These are all flour. You can make what you want to make. And I have some yellow belly sweet potato, Jamaican yellow belly sweet potato. I'm just dishing up some of this for you. I am just dishing up some of this for you. I don't know how much longer I can stay with you. My mouth is just like so watering. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is just reddering, rundown. I did it just for you. Please do enjoy. If you have liked this video, remember to give it a big fat thumbs up. 
remember to make sure that you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey this is no ordinary recipe the Jamaican rundown and I did say to you before in other videos I am just trying to contain myself because my mouth is like literally watering for that plate that I served you back there I, I, I let you eat with your eyes I'm gonna use my mouth now this Jamaican rundown as I said to you it is just a plain dish whatever you put to it if it's salt mackerel it's salt mackerel rundown I did say it before if a tin mackerel it's tin mackerel if it's aki a aki and when I put in all those stuff you notice I added the red herring last it could be that you don't you just omit the red herring or anything and that would be I forget to tell you that would be the basic rundown recipe this is no ordinary recipe thanks for the love thanks for the support remember to make sure that you're subscribed as I said you know the norm remember to be you do you most of all try some other red herring rundown here if you don't want red herring put where you want to put it